We'll move on to the Military Bowl. And the Military Bowl, we have got Boston College against East Carolina. BC is favored by three here. Phil Djokovic, it, it was fun to see him come back and everything, but uh, I don't think they've broken 17 points in a game in over a month. I mean, they just their offense has not been able to click. That defense, however, is pretty legit. This is at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium in Annapolis. It's 2.30 p.m. Eastern time on December 27th on Monday. This is this is fun. Like, it, I, I look at the, uh, the bowl gift, by the way. $350 MasterCard gift card by University Fan Cards, uh, wireless headphones, and a beanie. So I would imagine it's probably a military bowl beanie. But, you know, I look at... I wanted to ride East Carolina here. But they've got Phil Dracovich playing. They've got Zay Flowers, who has decided he's coming back, and he's an all-ACC uh, wide receiver. Like, I think Boston College has enough in the tank to be able to get the win here. East Carolina has not played a lot of really, really good teams. And and when they did play against great teams, they kind of got whipped. So I, I tend to lean Boston College here. Uh, obviously, I, I don't really like it. Either side, but since we're doing pick 'em, uh, I will take Boston College to cover the three here. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, I, I think they're the better coach team. I think they've got more talent on that side of the ball, or both sides of the ball. Sorry, and uh, and I just I just can't see a world uh, or a scenario where BC doesn't you know show up and, and and play this game, win this game, and you know it's a small spread. Cover the three. I, I think there's motivation here for Boston College. Like that's I I really think that they are using this as a jumping off point towards next season. And Jeff Halfley, a good defensive coach. Like that defense has gotten better as the season has gone along. He's Spring a good league. coach. Yeah, he's, he's a good coach. A good coach. Yes. I mean, I, I think this whole team has improved under him. Yes, they definitely have. They definitely have. I think things would have been a lot different had uh, had they not had to rely on Dennis Grossell through most of the season. So we both like BC minus three. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.